Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So today I wanted to go through a few new purchases of mine. I shouldn't really have been shopping, being Christmas and all, but every time I've been shopping uh, for other people, I've picked up one or two bits for myself along the way, and those one or two bits have culminated, and this is a collective haul basically of my Christmas shopping for myself. So I'll start with the product I'm most excited about, and as soon as I saw this was available online, I had to order it, and it's the new Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. So it's a version for matte colours, a version of matte colours basically, um, very very neutral shades, all really pretty and I love the Naked palettes, the other ones, but I don't wear overly shimmery shadows most of the time. I have pretty small eyes and I find they can make my eyes look smaller if that makes sense. I can find that I don't, I work better with mattes anyway so I knew that I wanted this as soon as I heard about it and it comes in this really cute kind of it's almost velvety plastic, I can't explain it, it feels really nice, not dissimilar to the NARS palettes and it's really really small if you can see, so it's a really nice travel sized uh, version, a lot smaller than the original kind of naked palettes and it has a mirror the full length just like the other ones and there's uh, six shades included and five of them are completely matte and then this one here, the palest, is a kind of, it's described as a demi matte but it's got a little bit of, not shimmer or glitter, but it's got a metallicness to it, which is really nice as a highlight colour, and I've been using that uh, under my eyebrows and just in the inner tear duct there, but they're all pretty light shades. I really like these shades because on a daily basis, these are the shades I use the most, and I've been using um, WOS, which is a, a white, an off-white with a slight pinkiness to it, which is really flattering, all over the lid and then I've been using Naked 2 as a crease colour which is a really nice mid-tone kind of taupey colour and if I want to go a little bit more dramatic I'll use the nice kind of uh, matte brown there called Faint but they're all really nice quality, they're all really pigmented if you like matte eyeshadows then this is the perfect version of the Naked palette to get if you're not into mattes then stick with the other ones and if you have the other ones and you're not fussed about matte shadows then I wouldn't bother getting this but if you do like matte colours um, then this is a really nice basic palette as it's described um, they're good for all over wash colours and crease colours and then maybe you could use your um, other naked palettes to add the shimmer if you wanted as well but I really like this palette it was about £20 I think which isn't bad but it doesn't come with the brush or anything like the other naked palettes but I think it's really really worth it and I'm loving that uh, so far. Some other nice purchases I've made have been from MAC. I picked up three bits the other day just uh, on a whim and I picked up some backups of my powder puffs. I really like using these to really press uh, press powder into my nose and other oilier areas helps my foundation to stay on um, better and uh, keep my oil away so I picked up some of those and then I got a brush because I was wanting another 217 which is my favourite all time eyeshadow brush it um, is a wash cut, great for all over wash colour, great for creasing, great for blending it's just a great multi-purpose brush but they didn't have any in stock so the lady there convinced me to buy this one which was pretty expensive um, and it's the 286 and it's a duo fibre kind of blending brush she said it's good for concealer but I don't think it's fluffy enough I prefer my Illamasqua blending brush um, but she said it was a good multi-purpose brush I have been using it since I've had it I don't really like it that much it's quite scratchy it doesn't feel as soft as the 217 and it's a little bit thinner it's not as fluffy so I find it um, harder to work with but um, I'm not too happy about that because she did say it was very similar to the 217 but it, it kind of isn't but um, I'm sure I'll use it anyway. The other purchase I picked up was because of Tanya Burr. She's been mentioning in her last few videos that she's been using the MAC pigment in vanilla a lot. And over the years I've heard lots of hype about this colour. I know it's one of the must-have colours to have. But I never had purchased a pigment before. Just simply because they're pretty messy and I'm quite lazy with makeup. So I like everything to be pretty easy to work with. And yeah, these are very, very... Um, nice kind of really high pigmentation eyeshadows but they're in a loose form so they're pretty tricky and they can spill everywhere but this is vanilla it's a really nice beautiful white I don't know if you're going to be able to see on the camera but it has kind of reflex glitters in it that um, shine all different colors under the light kind of rose golds um, and let's have a look, and greens, and it just picks up loads of different colours, if you can see it's really, really shimmery, and you could use this anywhere as a highlight, 
but um, under the eyebrows and on the eyelids it looks really beautiful. Uh, beautiful. I've used it a few times and I really really like it but it is yeah, pretty messy so I'm not too keen on that but apart from that the colour is absolutely beautiful. Um, I also picked up some drugstore makeup when I've been shopping as well and I'm really happy with it. I'm really into cheaper makeup at the moment and they keep coming out with some great formulas just as good as high end so I can't stop buying little bits and I'll show you what I've bought recently. Um, one of the products is the um, new Maybelline Master Smoky Pencil and I saw this and thought that it looked pretty similar to one of my favourite um, eyeshadow pencils which is the Urban Decay Shadow Pencil 24-7 Shadow Pencil which is a really fat creamy eyeshadow pencil and I use it as an eyeliner because it creates a really nice smoky effect to the eyes, um, you don't have to blend or anything like that, You just it's quite a thick line and it just looks really really nice and smoky without you having to do anything and this basically is a dupe of that except that it's not metallic like the um, Urban Decay ones, it's a matte kind of deep brown colour is the one that I picked up because I wear dark brown the most as it's not as harsh as black against blonde hair and it looks like that. It also has a smudger on the end and it's really really soft and creamy and you just basically kind of smudge it along the lash line to create a really nice smoky eyed effect. Really easy to use, really clever and these come in about six other colours I believe so I'm really happy with that. An eyeshadow I picked up again by Maybelline is one of their 24 our tattoos. I've heard a lot about these eyeshadows. I really enjoy using pop cream shadows because again they're very easy to use and I'm pretty lazy. You just use your finger and swipe it across and you get a really nice eyeshadow look. And I picked up the colour um, On and On Bronze which is a really nice kind of metallic uh, bronze shade. I ha't used it as you can see so first swatch now and it looks like that. It's really pretty, really nice and metallic. Ooh, it's like a taupey kind of brown. It's almost got like a purple to it, which is really nice and wearable. I'm sure I'm going to wear this loads just all over the lid on its own. Um, I also picked up another top um, product, which is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof K-Gel and um, Cold K-Gel. I use the nude one of these, which I think is absolutely amazing. It's really pigmented, it's completely waterproof, it stays on the eyes really, really well. It's very, very soft and easy to use, and I thought this colour would be a really nice neutral shade. So this is the colour Torp, which is, yep, yeah, like a taupey kind of brown. And I've been using this under the waterline, and just smudging it a tiny bit with my fingers, and it just creates a really nice soft, smoky look. So I love that. I also picked up a concealer, the Lasting Perfection Collection 2001. I've heard loads of people rave about this. And I did think that I had it a long time ago, but I gave it away. Maybe I didn't like it at the time, but I thought I'd give it another go, seeing as everybody loves it so much. I do really like it. I don't think it's as good as my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stick, which comes, um, which looks a bit like this as well in the same kind of packaging. I don't think it's as natural looking on the skin as that, but it does give nice coverage and it's good for the price. I think it was four or five pounds or something, which is like a third of the price of the um, Estee Lauder one. So it is a good dupe, but I just think it's a little bit cakier than my Estee Lauder one. Um, maybe on to skincare items and things. I picked up a few things from Feel Unique. Um, the order came last week and I'm really enjoying um, one of these products I think is absolutely amazing and I'll talk about that one first. This was recommended by skincare guru Caroline Hirons and anything she recommends is pretty really good so I know that even if I'm going to spend quite a lot of money on skincare it's going to work and I, on her blog a few weeks ago she talked about the Ole, Ole Henriksen Truth Truth is in the eyes eye peel. I'd never heard of an eye peel before just because the skin under your eyes is very very sensitive and you usually don't use astringent type products uh, on the eye area but my eyes have been really really dry recently. I think it's part of the weather. I don't know if it's something I've used. Um, they just felt really irritated. The skin has been really dry. Makeup looks really cakey in it. So I thought this sounded absolutely perfect to kind of revive the skin under that area again. And um, it's amazing. I've been using this twice a day for the past week and a bit and my eyes feel back to normal now, the skin feels really really soft, makeup goes on it smoothly and it doesn't sit or cake in it and I really love this. This was very expensive, I think I got 15 mils, I think it is, 
yeah 15 mils of the eye gel and it was 39 pounds which is crazy but you really only need the tiniest amount it's very gentle you can't feel anything to be honest i didn't think it would work because when i put it on my eyes and when you say peel you think you can feel the kind of you know the strong um you know like it peeling your skin or whatever but i didn't feel anything it's very very gentle it's got no smell to it it's really nice but it definitely works and it says that it's an eye peel concentrate that's a natural antidote for fatigued and wrinkled under eye tissue. It says that over time it helps to um, alleviate dark circles. Hang on, I read this before, that's why. Um, diminish the appearance of dark circles, smooth and illuminate while, while optimizing elast elasticity in the eye region. Apply AM and PM, a thin layer around the eye, avoiding the lid, and then you put your normal moisturizer over the top of it. But this is amazing if you've been getting dry skin under your eyes or you want to try and get rid of dark circles. It just makes the skin look really revived and fresh again, and I'm so, so happy with that purchase. When I ordered that, I also picked up a few other bits. Um, I got one of the um, Elixir Kerastase Elixir Ultim. Um, I've used this for years. I've been through many, many bottles, but I've been using lots and lots of hair oils, different types over that time as well, testing and trying. Um, and this was the first one I ever used. So I haven't had a bottle for about six months or so. So I thought I'd buy one because I saw that it had a limited edition uh, packaging, which I thought was really cute. And I have been loving this and I realize now why I loved it in the first place. And it has these really nice kind of, I don't know if you can see, but lipstick marks all over it. And it's the new Jade Jagger. I'm not extremely, I'm not entirely sorry sure why she's done a collaboration with Carastese for this oil. But I like the packaging and it's really cute. And I wanted to give this another go. Really, really nice multi-purpose um, hair oil. Really beautiful quality. Smells amazing. And it makes your hair just so shiny and tangle free and get rid of all the frizz and stuff. So I love that. I also picked up a hair mask when I was there. I used this at a friend's house. My ha hair had been feeling really, really dull and dry and I used the uh, Mythic Oil treatment mask at her house and my hair felt amazing after I used it so I decided to invest in a pot. I think this was about £14 or so. I really like the Mythic um, hair oil oil as well so I knew that I'd probably like this. It's a really nice deep conditioning treatment and you just use a tiny bit on the mid to lengths of your hair and it just helps to um, make it healthy again, get rid of split ends and just smooth the hair out a little bit so I love that. Um, also while in TK Maxx I picked up a shower gel and mostly shower gels are not very interesting at all but I had to tell you about this one because it is my favourite shower gel of all time and it's the Corez shower gel in vanilla cinnamon. I absolutely love this, smells amazing, it's like a really nice kind of vanilla-y cinnamon, oh just a beautiful blend, if you like vanilla and you like cinnamon you have to get this. This was in TK Maxx, it was 4 99 I think usually they're about £10 or so, but I've purchased this a few times over the years and it's just the best shower gel ever. Um, in Space NK, last thing, last product to talk about, in Space NK at the weekend I went in to see what they had, I was expecting to buy quite a few bits just because I felt like buying makeup but I didn't see anything that caught my eye that I really really wanted. I ummed and awed over NARS Douceur brush I think it's called, or blush sorry, but I didn't buy it, I'm hoping somebody might get it me for Christmas which would be nice, but I did pick up one essential and I've needed a brush head for my Clarisonic for absolutely ages, haven't been using my Clarisonic on my face for about six months maybe more I've just been using it on my body with the body um, head just because I hadn't bought a um, head attachment because I don't live near a Space NK usually but I went to Nottium and um, yeah I picked one up and this is the new pore deep pore cleansing one and this is amazing I forgot how good the Clarisonic is and this is what the head looks like here I've used it so it's pretty dirty um, Oh, it's not too bad but it's uh, not as wide as it was but anyway this is absolutely amazing it's really really gentle I've definitely noticed a difference I've been using this for about four days now every day in the morning and it's amazing it removes makeup it cleans my face it leaves my face feeling so so soft I completely forgot how good the Clarisonic is and this uh, brush head is really really nice my makeup applies so much smoother over the top of um, after using a Clarisonic and I really really love it. So that was it guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know below and have a good Christmas. Bye.